Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Photo Count, and welcome back to the channel. We have a lot more to talk about with the World Cup mode and World Cup content in FIFA 23. Specifically, what I want to talk about in this video is how we're getting some brand new features of World Cup content that we've never seen before that we need to fully understand and grasp ahead of when that content drops so that we know how we are going to be using these cards when they release in the game. Like we mentioned yesterday and as we saw and as we're going to look at today in the deep dive that EA put out about World Cup in FIFA 23 or in Foot 23, there are limited time cards that are actually going to expire. Like they're literally going to go away from our ultimate teams. But those cards are very, very important for completing other objectives, which will give us packs and rewards that will not go away. And that's what I want to talk about in today's video. But of course, we're going to talk a lot about that Foot World Cup. And we're also going to talk about what's going to happen today on a Wednesday, new team of the week, um, new Silver Stars. What kind of Wednesday content could we see? Because again, yesterday was a pretty quiet day. An 82 plus player pick that you could do one time. And then another pack supply SBC, the out of position challenge too. It's been a pretty quiet week of content. Although we do have another leak situation for an SBC that could be coming out later this week. And I think we'll see some leaks today for the team of the week as well. So I want to get into all of that, of course, and the current state of the market and how it could be impacted by this Foot World Cup content information being dropped. But if you're excited for this Foot World Cup content because it looks insane, hit the thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it by looking at the deep dive. And I'm not going to spend ages looking at this because I know you guys can read. What I really want to talk about is just how different this is and really try to cut it down and make it simple of what is going on here. So FIFA World Cup player items. Basically, these are World Cup player items. Think of them as the Champions League items that we had in FIFA 21 and FIFA 20. It's basically what these cards were, either the same stats or slightly better stats than their gold card. Except for the World Cup, it's going to be this red World Cup player card design, and they're going to be limited. And EA explains here in the pitch notes that these cards, we are going to be able to get through packs, and we are be, uh, going to be able to get uh, them pretty easily, it sounds. It says that they means that means packs with World Cup player items will contain their usual content, as well as the World Cup player items in addition. So again, they said here though that these items are time limited that expire at the end of the experience. And if we go down and read the frequently asked questions, you can see that they talk about these limited cards and it lim limited time means that they're only going to be out in the game from the start of the World Cup content, which I, I believe is November 11th. They confirmed that date in this document right here from November 11th until December 23rd, certain rewards and packs will be refreshed to include these player items. So think of them like a combination between these UCL blue cards of old, but also kind of like icon swap tokens, because again, it says that you can get them through reward packs and store packs, and you need them to complete objectives and SBCs so that you can get bigger rewards. And that's what this graphic shows right here. Basically, you're gonna try to collect as many of these World Cup player items that you can, including duplicates, so that you can get better end of event rewards which will be given out on january 4th it seems like a long time but trust me it'll be here before you know it so that's kind of the whole idea with these red world cup player items basically they're going to be just like the champions league cards of old we're going to collect them but they're also going to go away and they're also important because they're going to help us with world cup swaps the first like swaps promo of the year again you see roster players receive a fifa world cup player item and we will use those to get World Cup swap tokens. That's the official car design right there, according, of course, to the EA website. And then we'll get the swap rewards, right? Where you get foot World Cup stars, packs, or player picks. We know how swap rewards go. We'll get leaks. We'll see those. So that is the breakdown for what the World Cup swap token is and for what the World Cup player card is. Again, it seems weird to kind of grasp that these cards are going to be in packs in the store and through SBCs, but they're going to end up going away. It's definitely something that we've never seen before, but I think that right there, if you think about it, like a UCL card that you need for objectives kind of thing is going to make them pretty useful. So those cards are going to be something we're going to have to watch out for literally 10 days from now or nine days from now on the 11th when that content is dropped. That's one of the biggest things that I want to talk about in today's video because that's something that's brand new, never seen before, completely 
different. But like I said, there's World Cup swaps. And of course, we have all these other card designs in here, right? World Cup stories, World Cup team of the tournament, path to glory, icons, stars. None of this other stuff is temporary or time limited. The only time limited cards are the World Cup player cards. Everything else is either a normal campaign or a promo card like Path to Glory or Road to the World Cup, World Cup Stories, Phenoms, that sort of stuff. Those are going to be like normal cards in FIFA that don't go away. The performance boosts or whatever they are, whatever each specific card is, it's, it's not like they're all going away too. It's only the World Cup player item that is going to be going away. Of course, they confirmed that World Cup Heroes, which we knew this, but guys, it's not very far away. World Cup Heroes, remember if you pre-order the Ultimate Edition at a certain time, you're gonna be getting a World Cup Hero Pack pretty soon. I'm gonna start to become very, very careful trading with Hero Cards because I think they're gonna start trending down in the next, honestly, like four to five days because the World Cup Hero Packs are going to be given out for those who pre ordered and again right here you see it right if you pre-order the fifa 23 ultimate edition you'll receive your pre-order hero pack starting november 11th so november 11th is a huge day for this game related to world cup content because that's when the new season starts and that is when we'll be getting free packs and the first world cup player items in the game and guys that's only nine days away crazy crazy stuff. So I know that's a lot to digest, but I'm going to leave the link to this pitch notes down in the description if you haven't checked it out yet and you want to read some of the sm small uh, fine print a little bit further, check that link down below in the description to see that there. It is very, very important details. But man, these promo cards, and I tweeted this out yesterday, I said this next two months basically on FIFA is going to be all about the World Cup. And I honestly think that it's going to be insane. I mean, look at those car designs that we have there in the game. I just, it might even start this week, guys. Seriously, like we don't know what promo is next. After the out of position promo is over, we don't have any leaks yet. But, you know, I wouldn't be too surprised if we started with a road to the World Cup promo or maybe a World Cup path to glory. I don't know what the schedule is in this stuff, but I would not be surprised if that kind of promo is coming very soon because we are on the doorstep of all of this World Cup content coming to FIFA and really starting to take hold and to take traction and to get very, very interesting and to have a lot of people very, very excited about it and very excited for it. So that also makes me think and try, you know, we try to answer the question, what's going to happen to the market, Nate, because of all this stuff? Well, like I said, with heroes, you might be like, Nate, you're trying to be careful with heroes, but you literally flipped four Cordobas yesterday while hanging out uh, in London with, you know, you bought them for 360 and sold them for above 300k. Yeah, yeah, I did. But hey, that's because there's still fluctuations on the market. I don't think you have to be selling all of your heroes right now and being worried that they're going to absolutely get destroyed in price. That's not what I'm trying to say. I just think that they will slowly trickle off in value because these World Cup heroes look insane compared to these regular hero cards. And there's going to be so many people that will be open in this pack on the 11th. We're going to talk about this, of course, more as the time comes. But these cards are the heroes, the base versions of heroes, which will be going out of packs, by the way. Base versions of heroes that was covered in the pitch notes will be going out of packs while the World Cup versions come into packs. Um, it's going to be you probably see some sell off, but depending on how expensive those brand new ones are, you might see some of them rebound back. Now, for the rest of the market, you know, I'm not really expecting, again, like I said, a market crash even further now after the release of all that information that we had yesterday. Like, if there was really going to be a market crash because of World Cup news and World Cup content news in FIFA, you'd see these cards already dropping because the news was dropped yesterday. So, I'm not really expecting to see anything crazy happen because of that. Um, today and even in the next two or three days. Although I would say that if we start getting leaks for a, one of those World Cup promos to come this Friday, that could cause a little bit more of that sell-off to happen. Um, I just think that basically the, the Black Friday sell-off that we normally see during Black Friday is probably going to start to happen here pretty soon because if you think about it again as well, if we're going to be getting different versions of these players in packs, um, that basically puts a second version of that card in the game, right? In, on the, the pitch notes, or maybe it was in the video, they showed like a Courtois and a Pedri. So if there's a Pedri or a Courtois that is the same, or maybe even plus one rating over the gold version in FIFA, that's double the supply for that gold card, right? And a lot of these guys are already super cheap, like Courtois is basically fodder. So I think that for guys that are going to be getting these 
World Cup player cards. That could infect them, impact them a little bit, but it wouldn't happen until next week. So just be careful with golds as we always will be. Now, let's talk about some content for today and some other leaks that we have. First one I have to talk about is Lewandowski has won La Liga Player of the Month. And the concept here shows a 92 Lewandowski, which I do believe would be accurate. I think a 92 Lewandowski would be accurate because EA only gives plus ones on Player of the Month, it seems, this year. And uh, the plus one would be based off of his uh, gold card, I believe. I would be very surprised if you get a 93. Again, remember the Valverde Player of the Month. Some of the bigger name guys, they've not been giving very big upgrades to, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. So I would watch out for a Lewandowski potential later on this week. Uh, probably on a Friday, maybe on Thursday. Uh, the La Liga is usually pretty good about on their own Twitter account tweeting out this stuff. So this is a leak before they're even tweeting it out, but you might see them tweet today or tomorrow. And then probably the SBC is in the next couple of days as well. Again, you know, watch the OTW. The OTW does not upgrade for this occurrence, of course, because player of the months do not upgrade the ones to watch. Although that would be really sick if they did. Um, so just be careful with this card. It might drop off because of course, People see a player, uh, a player of the month SBC coming out, depending on the price. I might make this 92 Lewandowski card drop in value over the next coming days in the hype and the buildup. And also with some road to the knockout games ending just a couple of hours ago, we have our final upgrades locked in. Rafinha is going to get a plus one to an 87. Lamar is going to get a plus one. Konate is going to get a plus one. Kulusevski, actually, this is incorrect. Kulusevski at 87. Kulusevski is going to go to an 87 rated card. Uh, and then you've got, yeah, the Konate upgrade, the Goosens is going to be an 86. Um, and then where's Thomas Muller? Thomas Muller, did I already look over him? I didn't. Thomas Muller is going to go to a 90 and, uh, and Guiza is going to go to an 87. So from the last couple games that just finished up today, more games today, or sorry, yesterday, more games today on Wednesday with a couple more potential upgrades on the line. I do believe. So keep an eye out for that. Now let's keep talking about Wednesday and what could go on on this game well of course it's a wednesday so that means new team of the week and as of right now we have no leaks we really have no leaks and that makes me actually want to go to footbin and take a look at the predictions that they have on the home screen as who in the world could be in this team of the week because i have no idea uh taglifico moreno oh sadio mane yeah 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 bentancourt de bruyne interesting so kdb is getting into some team of the week predictions that makes me want to look at his um Kevin De Bruyne's inform card 92 because this card, yeah, 675. If he is going to be in team of the week today, this card's going to drop a lot. He's already very overpriced in my opinion, being a very rare early on team of the week one card. So I would be very careful with that card today. Although a nice upgrade plus one in De Bruyne would be a pretty expensive item. I'd be very, very careful with that. It, it just doesn't seem like there's as much hype for today on Wednesday as there was last week. Last week we had an Mbappe. We had out of position leaks that were already starting. We had a lot of crazy stuff that was going on. This week, I feel like we don't have much, if any, hype for what's going on in this game right now. It kind of feels like a continuation of rule breakers in terms of the SBC content just being okay. And a lot of these prices continue to stay pretty stagnant as well in the market for the out of position players. Uh, you know, Fred still 150, Salah is still about 1.2 million coins, Teo, Cancelo still maintaining their same prices. I'm not expecting these guys to really go crazy high in price today. I'm also not expecting them to drop too much. Two days in a row with pack supply SBCs would surprise me. And again, guys, I'm, I'm really surprised that we don't have UEFA marquee matchups. I feel like this year, we we just I just have to stop thinking they're going to drop UEFA marquee matchups every single Champions League week uh, because they've skipped the last two. So for whatever reason it is, EA is not wanting to supply as much as they did, I guess, the first time in the year when they dropped UEFA MMs. I don't know. That's why content is live, and that's why content is sometimes uh, difficult to figure out because we never know what EA is going to do all of the time. And then this is one of those things where we're like, what in the world, EA? You usually dropped or you used to drop UEFA MMs every Tuesday during a Champions League week, and now you're forgetting to do it or just choosing not to do it. So that's kind of crazy with, with, with what's going on there. Uh, Silver Stars today means that Rodriguez is going away. And I would assume that we could have a pretty nice out of position silver card that EA could drop today. Of course, Silver Beast is still here. So no new uh, 45K pack or whatever a rare mega pack is. Coin value wise, no new objective there today. And guys, I'm, I'm going to be honest again. I'm, what other big type of SBC would I be expecting today? 
not much. So if you're like trying to trade and make some coins in the market right now, I would say that it's probably not a bad time to sell some of your fodder. I do wanna take a look at fodder here. Let's take a look at 85s. I mean, if you held strong on 85s, G freaking Gs, because you are selling these guys now for over 12,000 coins. You're, you're selling them for like 13, 14K, big W. In my opinion, I would look to get rid of these uh, today. Usually fodder peak days are Tuesdays into Wednesdays. Yeah, 13K for Costich, like that's incredible. When this guy was 10K and people were selling him on Monday. Huge, huge W if you held strong in your fodder another extra day or two. I know that 84s are still low. I know the 86s are still kind of low and the rest of the fodder market is still pretty low. Um, and that does to me scream potential with maybe a Lewandowski play of the month that could be decent value. Um, who knows what could be coming out this weekend for content. Uh, and then maybe even this weekend, if fodder isn't gonna go up that much more, if fodder drops a little bit more this weekend with supply for whatever promo we get, that's gonna make fodder incredibly, incredibly investable for whatever upgrade pack we would have this upcoming week. Uh, next week. So that's a bit thinking ahead of time and ahead of stuff. But for sure, if you had the 85s, I would sell. If you have the other fodder, like if you bought 88s at like 20K when they were low on Monday, just hold, right? You bought at a very, very low price and now you're just waiting for EA to drop content that's going to make them go up. They will go up. It's a matter of when, not if, as we always say for a lot of these cards. I don't think anything's going to move them up today though. That's why I think that selling the 85s is a very good decision and very good opportunity to get those out and take some coins. And just like I flipped the Cordoba yesterday, watch for watch for panic selling and watch for price drops that could maybe bounce up after rewards. I'm not expecting a big market rise after rewards. I just feel like that those days are behind us now in FIFA, being completely honest. Like the Thursday market rises now are they're just so small. So you have to find, you know, a card or a card or two here or there that you can maybe flip on a Thursday after rewards, but it's mostly like Monday flipping now. Like you saw how successful flips were on Monday this past week. Um, it's it's become that is more of the trend than the Thursdays. But, you know, I'd see a few prices maybe trickling off today. But again, like if you see some pretty sizable drops before 6 p.m., like that's why I bought Cordoba because he was 390 and I saw him all the way down at 360. And I was like, okay, I don't think we're getting any insane content today. So I'm gonna go buy this guy right now for 360, 350 something to 360, and then go sell him at 390 later as he bounces back up as he is a very popular Syria center back and very rare. So rarity is your best friend, out of packs cards, icons, stuff like that today. Um, and if they drop, again, a lot of you guys um, that are on lower coin budgets always like to drop this tidbit of information in here because it's so helpful and so useful. Don't forget and don't skip over these daily or semi-daily every other day pack supply SBCs. Like yesterday we had the out of position challenge two for a tradable pack. I know it's not that great of a pack, but it's just, it's, it's there. Um, the, the first one was better, but 14 chemistry points on this one probably didn't make too much uh, of the lower tier move, but that first out of positions one that was for a good pack that was tradable, that required a lot of chemistry, those are the sorts of SBCs that you can do and make coins off of with golds, non-rares, and lower tier rares that move up on the market because people uh, are going and, and they, they want to try out and gamble with one of, one of those upgrade packs. So if we were to get anything of that nature today on Wednesday, I would absolutely say keep an eye on that as well. But other than that, I'm really not too sure what's going to be dropping today. There's really not any other leaks of players that could be releasing the game today. It's all a lot of the hype is just starting to build for the World Cup mode and for all of that content and everything that we're expecting to drop in the next couple of weeks. And, you know, if we start to get leaks for a new promo today on Friday um, about something World Cup related, then again, I do think that could, that could cause a little bit of panic, but I just, I just don't think that it would cause that much panic yet um because unless it's maybe like live cards if it's like i don't know path to glory path to glory would be something that i would almost argue is hype enough to make some people sell some cards because they're like oh my goodness path to glory is coming remember all the great promos of path to glory of old um on the older fifa so that's the only thing I would say could potentially happen today, but it is a Wednesday, so it could be loading screen day as well. Last week on Wednesday, we got a loading screen for the out of positions promo. Maybe that's coming again today. That'd be the last bit of content that I could say is potentially dropping today as well. It's definitely, definitely, definitely 
watch out for a loading screen today that could make the market move also watch for the brand new team of the week first hour flips it's for the most hype cards uh for sure like last week griezmann moved really well jude bellingham moved really well casemiro's inform went from like i don't even know what he is now probably like 50k uh he went from like 90,000 coins to 120k in a span of like 10 to 15 minutes last wednesday in that first hour so definitely watch for the team of the week today for any cards that like that are really hyped that are pretty cheap people might want to go and try out if the content's pretty dead you might see some crazy first hour flips in there as well i know it's a very risky trading method but i think that is one that's very viable and very profitable given the correct circumstances so i know it's a lot to try to fit into one video we're talking about today we're talking about yesterday we're talking about content this that and everything in between all i would say is make sure you go and check out the page that we looked at um, the ea sports website with all the information there it's going to help you understand it just a little bit better and of course you know spend a little time reading that because if you understand what's going to happen knowledge is so powerful if you can get your mind around that um, you're going to be set you're going to be good to go when we get up to the days that that content is going to be getting released in fifa 23 so if you enjoyed today's video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new i'm going to get some sleep and hopefully we have a surprisingly good content day today on wednesday with a solid team of the week and maybe a loading screen we'll have to see it's been nathan for the again from london i'll catch you guys later peace out.